Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, when Yesu Watongaren was arrested, we brought that story here and we discussed it. It is almost four days since then he was arrested. He has been uh, in the court, at least he has appeared uh, three times. And after all the investigation has been done, it is coming out clear that the court has found yes, Watonga with no case to answer because there was no sufficient evidence to put some charges on him. So today it was a good day for yes, Watonga Ren and even Wajakoya, who is part of the Azmiola Umoja and the Roots Party leader, was in Bungoma law court to represent Yesu Watongaren. And this is what went through. Stay at the same time. Stay at the same time. Kule. Siwezi sitanganya kwamba maafisa wa polisi hapa wamenipeleka vibaya, wamenilinda vizuri. Na hata nawaombea pamoja na wasaa wao wote ili ushindi wake papa Mungu kaweze kutukuka. Alafu kuna kitabu hiki pia ninaona huu unabii umetimia. Maana siku moja mkija nyumbani naliwaambia. Kitabu cha Ezekieli. Ezekieli 17. Huu ni maandiko yanasema mstari wa kwanza. Kwa jasoma kina sungumuzia mfano watai na musabibu. Neno la mwenyezi mungu lilinijia, wewe mtu teka kitendawili waambie. Mfano na liteka kitendawili pale kwa tini nikisema hakimu wangu atakuwa jua na mwesi. Hata leo mkono ni mwangu na upinde wa pingiru. Teka kitendawili waambie fumbo wa israeli. Waambie kuwa mimi buwana mwenyezi mungu na sema hivi. Kulikuwa na tai mmoja mkubwa sana aliyekuwa na mapawa makubwa yenye manyoya marefu yenye rangi za kila aina tai huyo aliruka mpaka mlimani Lebanon akatua juu ya kilele cha Mweres akakwanyua tawi lake la juu Sait akalipeleka katika nji ya wafanyi biashara akaliweka katikati Amina <laughs> nasoma Biblia George wajakoya ni mmoja wa mawazo now we are continuing with the panel discussion, but just a quick request for those who are watching and you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel subscribers. And thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. And back to this discussion. Now, we all know after the Mackenzie issue of that mass killing, that's when the police officer extended to go and arrest Pastor Zakir. And after Pastor Zakir, the next person was Yeshua Tongaren. And it is imagined clear that it's like the state was trying to make prompt charges and extending it to other people who did not have any issue to do with what was happening at Shakahola. But their main aim was that they were looking for a scapegoat. And they wanted to divert attention on what was happening at Shakahola. That's why you saw they went for someone like Pastor Ezekiel who is so popular, and they went for Yesu Watongaren, just because the media was always interviewing Yesu Watongaren. And therefore, he was in court. And just like the way we said here, there's no way the court will follow the route that the state is looking for. People should be served with justice. So Bungoma Law Court has served Yesu Watongaren with justice. I was just looking at Yesu Watongaren. This is a man who don't have that kind of money you think he can manage to have that money for bond or anything close to that. But you see, a state which is just intimidating poor people down there. This is a man who is struggling to take children to school. But again, you check on his teaching, he has not radicalized anyone. He's not radical, but he's teaching. He has a church. No one has died in, the, died in the church. We have not seen him telling people not to use medicine. We have not seen him stopping people from going to school. His own children is admitting they are in school. So the issue was, why are you hunting 
someone for no apparent reason. So today, this man has served with the justice. Surprising, even when he was there in the, is it the man or what? <laughs> He's claiming that even the officers were good to him. No harassment. They listened to him keenly. To an extent, even they were helping to raise school fees for his own children. That's why Imam Bina Yusha to Ii Nikelele Ilikura Tengeneza na Sia Sikitura Kindiki. Iyonekane tu ni kama wako kazi. The same way Yesu Watonga Rani Kes is ending. It's going to be the same way the case concerning with Pastor Zekel is going to end. Because the state has been looking for evidence. Now, we have been looking for evidence. That's why the case of Yesu Watonga Rani Meanguka. They don't have any iota of evidence. They don't have. They are trying every means possible. No matter how far this intimidation will go. But at the end of the day, the pastor will be set free. Not unless someone wants to use the court with trumped charges. But again, we still have a chance if you have such a case, you continue to appeal as you continue like that. And at the end of the day, the truth will come out. So, I have seen also in the Bungoma, and it is very good, eh? in as much some people wanted Yeshua Tonga then arrested, what to come up? Lusaka. Lusaka is outgoing governor. He don't care what will happen because he will not be seeking for elective seat in the Bungoma again. That's why you see he was saying yes, Watonga should be arrested. But the area MP, who is also in the same political party, came for rescue of Yes Watonga. He was able to help to get a lawyer here. Then Wajakoya came in. We have seen some of the celebrities in Bungoma also coming in defense of Yes Watonga. <laughs> yes, I have seen them. They offered in terms of maybe transport where he needed, visiting him and just standing with him to show solidarity. For that one, I give a thumbs up to the Mulembe nation. That was a good move going forward. So the state should look for people who are breaking the law and handle those cases individually. But no not now trying to bring in everyone in that matter so that, by the way, we are talking about more than 200 people. So you may to that, somewhere close to that. <laughs> Na bado, na bado, wanaendelea kuchimba tuka buri kule. So, it is the state to answer walikuwa wapi mambo kama haya ikifanyika. Wanzea kwa huyo subchifu wao, unajua subchifu ni office ya president. It is the lowest office of the president on the village down there. Wakuja paka kwa count commander, regional commander. Wakuja kwa kithure kindiki na William Ruto mwenyewe pia ye aseme. As the president, what happened? We saw him uh, apologizing to Kenyans on that issue. Above all, that is not enough. People have suffered for losing their parents, losing their children. So it is not yet over. They have to go up to the end and the people should be answerable. This case should not just end like that. In as much you see they are looking for the other side just to persecute people. But what this state should be focusing on surely, it should be going for the chief of that area. They should go for the sub-chief. Ruto should go for the commander in that area the count commissioner. These are the people who should be arrested if need be. These are the people who should be interrogated. These are the people who should go to the DCI office. So that's why I want to say yes, what's wrong with A harmless man, surely. They go for Pastor Zekel just because he's a man who can pull crowd in the name of preaching. But the little culprit who are watching when people were dying, when people transfer. So, 
in whose interest is the state working for wale watu ambao wanakula mshahara wameajiriwa kazi ya kulinda watu kwa sababu makosa yametokea wanapigwa transfer hiyo ndio kazi kizuri kindika alifanya Enough they are coming to hunt people who don't have anything to do with what was happening at Shakawana. So we are going to wait and see because the next person there is Pastor Zekel and uh, of course we wish all the best for him. Thank you and see you in our next video.